Welcome to another Science Sunday. Today we are building the In Air Easy Build Space Shuttle model. Jack, where did you get this model? My don't. It is pretty cool, but my school, my teacher actually created. We have like something called Space Night, and it's really cool. What do we do at Space Night? We do like a fun activity. What are some of the activities we've done? Um, water bottle rockets. Mm hmm. Um, what is it called? Uh, we painted the solar system. Yes, we still have that. Mm hmm. We did stomp rockets. Which I still have. Yeah. Uh, what are we doing this year? Act it out and what is it? What's act it out? Um, so like you get to pretend to be like space people who work like for NASA. Uh huh. And I, I never knew about it, but I really want to do it this year. We're also doing the pasta rover challenge. What do you have to do for that? It's like a family design challenge and you have pasta and you have to make a rover out of it. Ooh, yeah. Looks pretty good to us. Okay. Okay, so we have been working very hard with this and we have discovered that the in-air easy build scale model kit of the space shuttle is a catastrophic fail. <laughs> what Jack is trying to do right now, he's putting the screw into the little rocket boosters the back there. You're is... supposed to screw it in, but um, we don't see anywhere where it's actually <laughs> supposed to screw into. See, you take it like here, and you fit it right in there. And you screw in the nothing. screw is right here. See where that hole is? Um, but there's absolutely nothing to screw it into there. Uh, another problem that we had was these little cargo bay doors, they will not stay in. You can kind of sort of open them and leave them there but if you want to play with it, it's a giant no-go. Because see, these little things don't, they don't lock in. And another problem that we had was the wheels. The wheels do not fully snap in either. And once you do snap them in, there is no way to get them out with your fingers. You have to use one of these little guys to pry it open. So... Our recommendation of this kit, what would you say, Jack? If you were to rate it a 1 out of 10, what would it be? A uh, 2? Maybe a 2. It looks kind of cool if you stick it up on its little stand and have the little space station, you know, attached. And it's got a neat little, a little, neat little astronaut guy that you can fly around and have him work on the space station. Um, but when it comes to actually playing with it, well, if you can't fully assemble it, you can't really play with it. <laughs> Any final words, Jack? Maybe we should um, do something else. Satellite's really cool. Yeah. Well, update, we found this little piece and I think Maybe that's what this is supposed to screw into. However, um, we can't quite figure out 
how it's supposed to go in. But this satellite's we, really cool. Yeah, the satellite's pretty cool. You want to show some of the details of that? Hold it up to the camera. What do you like about the satellite? Like it's when you ever you turn it. Kind of looks like the Hubble. Yeah? I'm in fourth grade, so I learned about the Hubble. Yeah? Tiny bit. What about your little space guy? Where'd the space guy go? He can just do like, he can do maintenance, like, yeah, yeah, fix, fix, fix. <laughs> because the Hubble actually broke in space and they went up and fixed it in space. Well, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, fix, fix, I'm fixing the Hubble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the satellite. Oh, yay, we're good. Oh, no, it's breaking. Oh, yay, okay, you gotta do this. Okay, let's pull this into the bay. Oh, the broken spaceship, and it's. Fix it here. <laughs> Update number two. What did we figure out, Jack? We had to unscrew this and slide it in before. So. So we had to completely take the bottom off and then slide that little piece in. Which helped with, us with the hulk, with the doors. It helped with the cargo bay doors and we were able to screw on the boosters. Here's the thing. Nowhere in here does it say you have to slide that little screw panel in first. In fact, I don't even see that in the instructions. And it took one eight-year-old and one year-old to figure it out. So it definitely is not easy build, but we did build it. Perhaps try the other way, face it the other way. Yeah, try that way. Ah! Success! Woohoo! It was such a silly mistake, and I'm um, he's still fixing Hubble. Okay, so what's he doing? So first we're gonna have this pick up, and the spaceman fall off the floor. Then to take it in and let him fix it. <laughs> Are we done now? Yes. Okay, look at that. That looks much better. The wheels still don't fit, but it still work, though. we got everything else settled. So do we want to change our rating? One out of 10. What would you say now? Nine. A nine? Nine and a half. Nine and a half? Okay, so we still lost half a point because the wheels don't work right and the instructions were not very clear. Yes. But we declare this toy a win now.